Hello guys, back to tutorial again. In the last video, we implemented pick a view for our core data app. In this video, we're going to save the data into our view context. So let's go to save AC. First, I'm going to create a reference to our view context. So let context is equal to UI application dot shared dot delegate as app delegate. dot persistent container dot view context okay now let's go to our save button when you say click on the save button we need to save the data into our view context so first I'm going to in, uh, initialize our core data model so model is equal to our mo model is going to be my list and context is going to be newly created context now model dot task is going to be the task uh, which is in the task text field task dot text and model dot priority is going to be select a priority in our text field and model dot color is going to be color array and we cannot use the raw count here outside the pick view methods so I'm going to create a variable where reference is equal to let it be zero in the beginning in the did select row I'm going to set that reference variable as our row count so that we can access the row outside the pkv methods so it's going to be a reference okay now we we assign the data to our view context now we need to save the data in order to do that I'm going to create a new file let it be a swift file name it as support now I'm going to import core data I'm also going to import UI kit now let's create the function func save context okay now I'm going to create reference to our view context so let context is equal to UI application dot shared dot delegate as app delegate dot persistent container dot view context now we will check if whether our context has changes so your context dot has changes if there is changes we will use a do try uh, block to save the changes so do try context dot save function now if there is error we will catch using a get block print error ok that's it now we need to simply call our function save context function here in the save button in order to save the data so save it's not popping up so let's build it once ok now save we can see here we have a function here save context function so that's it uh, this is how we, uh, we need to save the data into view context so guys see you in the next video thanks for watching